Today we're going to go over working with a dimension, an older dimension. It's a 3000. This is an old Celeron model. And um, got this from my sister. She wanted me to make sure to wipe it before I uh, did what I do with it. And um, so what we're going to do is boot it up and I'll show you what I've got in here. And I'll go ahead and shut that off. Got Darren's boot and nuke. It's a disc that I burned. It's ready to go. I've used it in several different computers. Go ahead and close this up. And just like every other Dell, you're going to hit the F12 key until it comes up with the boot menu. Now I did go through the BIOS and I made sure that the uh, IDE port was enabled. And as you can see, it's not showing up here. So what I would like to do is um, show you a, a nice little tool that you can use for these guys to actually boot to a serial ATA uh, CD-ROM instead of the IDE which is um, you know, obviously the older technology. This motherboard does not have a serial port on it therefore it cannot natively use a serial ATA CD-ROM or a DVD-ROM as is the case here you can see so okay so as promised I bought my little adapter and what this guy does as you can see it's got your parallel ATA or IDE as we used to call it and there's a little um, floppy drive connector that powers it and then here's your uh, SATA or SATA adapter for the uh, DVD ROM. And um, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in down in here. As you can see, fits right in that little slot. And you can see it right there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and boot it up. And I will show you. that it will boot up to CD-ROM. And we hit enter. And you see that uh, Derek's boot and nuke has come up, which means that it's reading off of the, the DVD ROM that I put in here um, using our neat little um, adapter. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I will put the link uh, in the description down below for the part that you can purchase. Again, I don't make any money off of this, but um, if I can help you out, that's my goal. Thanks. Bye.